What is up guys, Argue back again, and in this video, yes, we got some club, we got some ESHL, and we got a pretty special lineup here, I guess you could say. I'm playing left wing here, we got Savvy in center, we got Mold Gold on right wing, Cruiser on left wing, UTP on right wing, and Robbie or Game Time in net, whatever you want to go by. So we got a pretty powerful lineup here, and we dominated these guys, we destroyed them. Um, our club was going real strong, and then it kind of just disbanded for some reason. But we're going to try to get it back. I want to bring this series to you guys because we could easily take elite playoffs, I think, playing sixes. We're a pretty strong sixes team, and we were only getting better. Um, we had Corey from Studs Hockey in here. Uh, we had Dikasaurus Rex. We had a whole bunch of guys. We had Canadian Hockey Fan. Like I said, we were a strong team. Robbie and UTP both played goalie. I also played some goalie. We had It's Kane 88. We had a strong team, and we could have made it far, I think, but just kind of broke up from there. Anyways, I still wanted to bring you guys this gameplay. Right now, we're just in the third period, up 4 nothing, And we only bury them even more here in the third period of play. But I haven't really talked about it. The NHL is back now. And that's what I kind of want to bring into here, bring into this video, I guess you could say. I don't want to focus it just around my Oilers, so we're going to bring in all teams here. We'll start off with my Edmonton Oilers, because obviously my home team. We're going to start it that way. The Oilers got rocked by San Jose in their home opener. They let in six goals in the first period. They only scored one against San Jose. They ended up losing 6-3, so I guess... The only bright side you could pull out of that game is in the second and third, we didn't let any goals in. But we beat Vancouver in our first game of the season, and then we beat the LA Kings, the Stanley Cup champions, in our third game. And You guys have probably seen or heard something about that game. Um, basically, we were down one nothing with a minute left. We scored, goals got, goal got called off, and the crowd was going wild. I was at that game. Um... They were chanting, bullshit, refs suck, all this. They were chucking stuff onto the ice. Because, basically, Gagne got cross-checked into the crease. Sorry for any of you LA Kings fans. You guys are probably thinking it's the other way anyways. But, Gagne got cross-checked cross into the uh, Jonathan Quick. And then his foot got tied up in, like, Quick's pad there. And, basically, they said he didn't make a big enough effort to get out. But, when... Gagne was going one way, and Quick was going the other way. It was kind of hard to get out of the net. So then basically, while all that was happening, uh, the puck went to the other side of the net. Nugent Hopkins picked up the rebound and buried it, and then the goal got called off. Everything went downhill from there. Fans were getting wild. And now it comes down to like seven seconds left. Face off in the LA Kings zone. Goalies pulled for the Oilers. Eric Belanger. You know what, nobody recognizes this guy, but he's actually huge for the Oilers on face-offs. He doesn't really do much else, but he wins a nice clean face-off. Back to Justin Schultz. Schultz takes the shot. It gets blocked. Taylor Hall takes another shot. Quick stops it. Rebound bounces out. Nail Yakupov bats the puck out of the air. And then you know him being that crazy Russian. He's got the huge celly. Skates all the way down the ice. Hits the LA Kings blue line, slides on his knees all the way past our blue line, and just like falls down onto the ice. And now a lot of people were like, oh my god, he shouldn't have done that. Okay, if you weren't at the game, you shouldn't be talking. That game was full of emotion. The kid deserved it. It was sec his second goal of his career, and many more to come. He's just getting used to it, alright? Playing in the K, they got big sellies over there, so coming over to the NHL, you gotta at least let him selly on that goal. The fans were going wild. The team was going wild. It was all good. Any of you guys who disagree with it, tell me why. I want to hear you guys' reasonings. Probably heard it all before already, though. But looking on to the LA Kings, Stanley Cup champions here. They do not have a win yet this season. They got their first point against the Oilers, losing in overtime. But now, you look at their team. Anze Kopitar, zero points this season. Drew Doughty. Zero points this season. Now, 
I know they're missing some people like Matt Green and Willie Mitchell on the defensive end, but still, Kopitar should at least be able to put the puck in the net. I think LA got seven power plays against Edmonton, and they didn't put one in. They had two five-on-threes, and they couldn't put one in. So it's pretty ridiculous. Now we also look at teams like New York Rangers. Some, some of them expected to be undefeated at this point in the season. They have a strong team, and they could go far, and I'm expecting they will go far. Um, I believe Ottawa got their first loss, I believe. They were 3-0, and and then they lost last night, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Chicago, still undefeated. Now, what about that? They walk in to the first game of the season against the LA Kings and just wreck them. So, Chicago, proving to be a team not to mess with. Boston... Uh, three wins, one overtime loss. New Jersey's undefeated. They're three and zero. Tampa Bay three and one. From the West, San Jose's three and zero still. Like I said, they trumped the Oilers. Vancouver two and one. St. Louis three and one with two of their wins coming from a shutout. They got rookie Terrence Sanko playing huge for them right now. So it's been a really interesting and exciting start to the season, to say the least. Um. Let's see here. Who's scoring leaders right now? We got Joe Thornton leading the league with nine points in three games on San Jose. Not to mention he got like four points against the Oilers. So <laughs> most of his points came from there. We got Tom Vanek with uh, nine points in four games. Patrick Marlowe, eight points in three games. Stamkos, eight points in four games. Palmonville, eight and four. Buffalo and San Jose are all over this. Uh, for top scorers right now and they're gonna be strong teams if they keep playing the way they are Really Buffalo they got two strong goaltenders and Roth as a backup is very strong And I think if Miller can't do it and Roth is gonna get a big shot He might he might do it this season for Buffalo Miller's been a little shaky But he does come up with those huge games when he's needed and counted on but this video is coming to an end guys Let me know what you guys think of this season so far as always guys have fun gaming and peace out it's been argue